All righty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. Here I want to show you the Ymote version 2.0. So as a lot of you know, I have uh, constructed a wireless remote uh, about a year and a half ago, I guess, maybe a little longer, to remotely control turning your amplifiers on and off. Well. It's uh, worked great. I've probably got maybe about 20 or 30 units out there since then. I think there's been a few concerns. One concern is with RF, which I have proved that RF does not bother the units. <clears throat> Already with a couple of videos. Well, there's been a couple other concerns just with me personally. And uh, one of the concerns were, so these batteries have 12 volt batteries. I mean, these remotes have 12 volt batteries in the back of them. And yeah, they're going to last a good little while, maybe up to five years, maybe even longer. I don't know. But what if by that time the battery goes dead, you replace the battery? And I actually tested that out. And the problem is when you replace the battery, this remote is no longer programmed to this Y mode. So at that point, you're going to have an unusable Y mode, and you're going to have to send it back to me, or you're going to have to get on the phone with me and let me teach you how to program it, which you're going to have to take it apart and do all kinds of stuff. So I was like, I need to do something to fix that issue. So that's what we've done with the Y mode version 2.0, well, well, I'm calling a revised version here. And also, there was another little issue. There was another little issue, and this issue I had not had rise up yet until just a little while ago. And that's where we're going to go to this right here to explain that. Okay. Here's the plug, the default plug that I use, which I can use four pin connectors and smaller plugs. can use, you know a few different things but this is the default plug that I use which is a stereo plug okay and as you can see I this right here is called the tip this is called the ring and here's your ground all right here's the issue the Y mote needs power to operate okay the way that I have the Y mote wired up is that it looks for its power on the tip okay right here the tip now, the majority of your builders out there, that's how they wire up the inside of the boxes anyway. This right here is the female connector that you're plugging into. And this is inside the amplifier, which is back here. Okay. The majority of the builders, they already wire it up that way. Okay. Just, just by default, they already do. They wire the tip here. The ring here, the tip right here is coming from the hot bus. The ring is going to your relay, the, the positive coil, positive uh, connection to coil in your relay. But what if somebody hooks it up backwards, which I've seen it done because a, a lot of people will just take a switch and put it in a box and use that as a remote and they don't even care about an LED. And in that case, it, you know, it doesn't matter where, which one of these you hook, 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 hook what up to. But in my case, it does matter because I've got to have that power coming here. Well, a buddy of mine just bought a brand new X Force uh, 10 transistor amp. He's a buddy of a buddy of mine. I met him, and uh, good guy, by the way, nice guy. <laughs> but anyway, and he got a Y moat from me, and he quickly figured out that it wasn't working. And I said, well, when you plug the Y mode in, is the LED coming on? He's like, yes. Well, I knew right in there. There was my first instance of this happening. So uh, X-Force just, you know, by accident, wired them up backwards, which ain't hard to do. Heck, I've done it quite a few times. So I was like, well, now it's time. I need to go ahead and add that in there, too. So now I have... I'm pretty much going to call that version the y moat Universal because there's really no need for that extra feature if you're getting a y moat with one of my builds or something like that. But I have now fixed that solution as well. And let me go ahead and demonstrate that right now. All right. If you got to plug the y moat into a box that's wired up differently with the tip 
here and the ring here, you're going to see an LED come on. Well, instead of having to send the wire moat back or fix your box, now all you have to do is flip a switch in the back. Okay? It's sideways. And then the wire moat recorrects itself to where that's not an issue no more. Let me go ahead and show the back to you here. Okay? There's what the backs are going to look like. This blue switch is your programming switch. Okay, that's the next thing I was going to tell you. And there's the little piezo buzzer. All right. Next thing. Another thing was, is people was wondering, well, I want to have two remotes. Can I have two remotes? Well, actually, you can have up to 20 remotes on, per unit. And uh, so I had to do a little, little bit of research. And uh, figured out which remotes I can use. And there's a good variety of remotes which I'm going to be purchasing in the future. And um, so now you can program your remote right on the spot. And that's what I'm going to do on the camera right here, right now. Just to show you how that's done. So now you don't have to worry about shipping the thing back to me. Or getting on the phone with me for dang 30 minutes or so. Showing you how to program the remote. So now you you know you, you that that creates a couple different <clears throat> avenues there. You can get you two remotes, have you a backup remote. You can uh, get you four remotes. It's all up to you. You can actually program up to twenty remotes per device, and then you also can program how the remotes are going to work. Okay, you got three different options. First option is you press A, it turns on. Press it again, it turns off. Next option is you hold down A, it turns on. Let go, it turns off. You're not going to really want that. Next option, press A, it turns on. Press B, it turns off. Now, the actual unit in here goes off an LED when you're programming. So what I did is I went ahead and utilized a piezo buzzer. So it can all be done with the ear, which I know might be kind of loud on the camera. We're just going to pick a remote here. It don't matter what remote. I'll do it one button here in a minute. Yeah, we'll, we'll just take this remote for example. All right. So now I'm going to program the remote. And first I want to create the option to where I, how I want the remote to work. I want to press A to turn it on, B to turn it off. So now we're looking at the third beat. And this is what I'm talking about now. That's the initial programming beep. Now we're going, that's one beep, two beeps, three. Now I'm letting go. Okay, that programmed how the remote's going to work. All right, now I'm going to program the remote. There we go. Press B to turn it off. There we go. So let's say I want to grab another remote. See, this ain't programmed. Hold down your programming button. The initial beat. Hit it. There we go. You see, this remote is still programmed. <laughs> Let's say you want to go with a one button. To use a one button, we're going to have to change the programming. Okay? So it's not programmed. I'm going to change all these LEDs to the blue just because I like blue. So we want to change the way the button's programmed. We want to do button on turns it off. And that turns it back off, so we're going to reprogram it. And I think that's the second beep, so let's do that. One beep. Two beeps. All right. Now we're going to program the remote. Look at there. <laughs> it's that easy. 
Alrighty, so there's the Y-Moat version 2.0. As you can see, I have two of them made. The univer These are two what I call Y-Moat Universals. They get the switch here in the back, as you can see. The, the Universal is going to be 10 bucks more just for the switch, just a little bit of wiring. But since these are the two first revisions, version 2.0, I'm going to let them go for the same price as I've been selling them for, $35 a pop. So here's two of them now. Get it while you can. I'm going to go ahead and throw it on eBay. And uh, I'll start producing these bad boys because now I feel really, really good about them. Because that's the kind of one reason it's going to be kind of held back by them. You know, I didn't want to get a whole lot of them out there until I figured all that out. And I will be offering a, a nice little variety of different remotes right now. These are the ones I have available right now. I've got a couple, couple over here. But there's going to be all kinds of uh, neat stuff. And also, I got one uh, really neat one that I'm going to be uh, utilizing. It's an actual key remote. I'm going to get a blank key. I'm actually going to get my car uh my, my car's key copied and the remote is actually on my key now tell me how are you gonna lose that <laughs> so when i do that i'll make a video and show y'all mr gatekeeper out here around the northeast end of georgia bye bye bye